Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm sitting down and I'm doing a New Year's Eve look. Get ready with me. Obviously New Year's Eve is in two nights from now and I wanted to just sit down and do a really like fun, pretty, sparkly, glam, vampy sort of look for you guys. Give you maybe a little bit of inspiration in case you are celebrating and going out and doing anything on New Year's. If you are, please, please be careful and safe. Before we get started, don't forget I'm uploading every single day this month. You guys, this month is almost over. I got today and I got tomorrow and that is it. Two more videos of Vlogmas. It's crazy. I've been having so much fun making all these videos for you guys. I'm hoping you guys are loving my month of videos and enjoying them. If you like this video while you're watching it, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. And other than that, if you're excited and you want to see how I created this New Year's Eve glam look right here, then let's go ahead and get started. All right, I did go ahead and apply my MAC Paint Pot to my eyes, but I did not set it down. Today, we are pulling direct inspiration from Stephanie from Babs Beauty. A couple couple days ago now I believe uh, she put up a like trying new makeup sort of video and in that video she used the Huda Beauty Wild Jaguar palette and the look she created was just so beautiful and stunning and like vampy and sultry and smoky and sexy and when I saw it I was like yeah that's like New Year's Eve vibes so we're gonna recreate that look I'm gonna go ahead and have her video linked down below for you to check out if you want to see like the better version of it because hers is gonna be like way more like smoky and sexy than I think mine will be I don't think my small little eyes can really take and handle how much like smoking that she put on the lower lash line but on the lids and stuff we are going to recreate her look. So we're going to start off with this brown shade right here and pack it all over the lid. I am not usually someone who goes right in and packs on a deep dark shade onto my lid, but that is what Stephanie did and that's what we're doing. I'm excited that she used this palette and I drew so much inspiration from it. I wanted to recreate her look because this palette really is a beautiful palette. I definitely have not shown it enough love on my channel or off my channel. I really don't reach for it too too often which is a bummer because it really is pretty it's just the color story kind of throws me off it's a little bit unique so when i saw her using it i was like yeah i am definitely recreating that look so we're just packing this on the lid and we're going to ever so slightly light pressure start putting it up into the crease and maybe you should have put eye tapes down to make like a really sharp line but it's fine all right then she took a blending brush and then this gray shade right here and just kind of blended together that crease. I took a little bit and we're gonna do light pressure and we're just going to blend this so there's no harsh lines or anything like that. Ooh, okay, those are blending together really nicely. I feel like last time I used this palette, it got kind of patchy on me, so I was a little apprehensive to use it again. I'm glad I pulled it out. I mean, we're not done with the look, so maybe I shouldn't be talking too prematurely, but. Alrighty, then another step I'm kind of afraid to do, but we're doing it because we're recreating her look. She took the black right here and just put a little tiny bit on the outer portion of her lid just to deepen it out here a little bit, give it more definition. Okay, that's looking good. I'm actually really impressed with how not patchy these eyeshadows are getting. Maybe it's because I didn't set my paint pot. I don't know. But I like that. Then to like finish up the lid, she took this beautiful purple shade right here and put it on like the inner half. I'm hoping it looks good. I mean, it looks good on her. I'm hoping it'll like show up over this brown shade. It did on her, like I'm telling you, it looks stunning. I am gonna put it on like a definer brush. I just got a little bit on there and I'm gonna spray it. I don't know if she sprayed it. I honestly don't remember. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I don't remember. Oh, I just inhaled that. <laughs> I don't remember if Stephanie uh, sprayed her brush or not, but I want to. And I'm gonna get a little bit more on the brush. This is totally ruining the imprint on that shadow, which is sad, but it's okay. And we're going to pack this on. Oh, that looks beautiful, holy moly. I'm still getting fallout even though I wetted my brush, but that is okay. Wetted? I don't think that's a word, wet. I wet my brush. That is beautiful. I'm gonna get a little bit more. Spray again. Yeah, that is really, really pretty. I love this purple shade. It's like one of the main reasons I wanted to buy this palette. It just is so beautiful. So this is definitely looking very, very beautiful. But the last thing she did, which I'm also going to do, is she topped it with the Valentino. This is their Dream Dust Multi-Reflective Eye Glitter. I have the shade 02 Go For Gold. She had a different shade. I don't remember what shade she had. 
um, but she just kind of tapped this on top and made it extra glittery and shiny, which, I mean, this is a New Year's Eve, you know, look, so you want a little glitz and glam, so, oh man, that's really pretty. Kind of covered up the purple, which is a little bit of a bummer, because that purple shade is just gorgeous, but it just added a little extra shimmer and glimmer and shine in... That's really pretty. Okay, I like that a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of that brown shade again and just kind of re-emphasize that outer corner in the crease and then the gray shade again. Okay, so that is looking really pretty. I definitely think I put too much glitter on. Hmm, let me try to like, let's try to cover a little bit of that glitter up with a little bit of the purple. Now I'm probably just gonna be layering too many things on my eyes and it's gonna look like too crazy, I don't know. I just want to bring that purple back because it's so pretty. Yeah, I feel like that helped a little bit. Okay, so that is intense. That is a really a smoky, beautiful eye. I definitely think it looks better on uh, Stephanie, but that's okay. Um, I'm glad that I recreated this look. I think it's really, it's really pretty. I actually really like it. So I'm going to go do the other eye and then we're moving on. Now, I obviously know that this year's New Year's is going to be a little bit different from past year's minus last year, but... For this video, I'm going to pretend that we are not in an almost two year long panoramic and I am going to use long lasting, beautiful, full coverage, glowy sort of products that I would want to use if I was going out somewhere to celebrate New Year's. I am not. I am hanging out with friends. There's only going to be a small little group of six of us who are hanging out at our friend Matt and Hannah's house. This is our fifth year going to hang out with them on New Year's. It's like our tradition. Mike and I's tradition is to go to their house. Um, we're all vaccinated. We're all boosted. We're all being safe and careful. But I'm just going to pretend for a second that I'm like living in a la la land and that's not happening and we're going out and celebrating, baby. So for my primer, I'm using my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. This is like the most longest lasting primer. I own every time I use this my makeup just lasts all day all night it looks so good there's definitely glitter like all over my face I'm hoping my foundation will cover it up it's the glitter from the Valentino product not fallout from the Huda Beauty but that's alright so for foundation we're gonna mix together my pure 4-in-1 love your selfie foundation in the shade LN2 with my Huda Beauty glowish multi dew skin tint in the shade 01 fair I want like a really nice full coverage beautiful base that will last forever but I also want it to be a little glowy and beautiful so this combination will be a good one so I went ahead and did about a pump of each a couple months back, my friend Kirsten from Kirsten's Makeup Vanity sent me the Sigma Enchanted palette for me to test out because she was decluttering it. And in the package that she sent me the palette in, she also sent me one of these pawpaw sponges. They're the ones that are like a dollar or a dollar fifty or something on Shop Miss A. A lot of people use them. Jessica Braun is the like most notable one that I have seen use them. I think maybe Taylor Wynn as well. But she sent me one because she was like, I had an extra and I know you've been wanting to try it. You guys, this sponge is so stinking good. I used it for the first time yesterday and then obviously again today. I Sponges are not all created equally and you could definitely like disagree with me on that, but I don't think all sponges are created equally. And there has been plenty of times that I've tried to sponge and I just don't like how it blends in my makeup. The two that pop into my head is the Haley's Beauty sponge and then the e.l.f. like little like maroon sort of sponge, face, e.l.f. face sponge, I think is what it's called, that a lot of people like. And a lot of people like the Haley's Beauty one as well, and I didn't really like either one of those. Um, so I just really don't think, like I said, all sponges are created equally. So I was a little skeptical to try this one because it's like a dollar. It's so affordable, but it is really good. Just like blends in your makeup really nicely. So thank you, Kirsten, for sending it my way. <laughs> For concealer, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their Magic Touch Concealer. I have the shade 2. I'm laughing, I'm not really laughing, but I think it's funny uh, that this is probably the most like real time video you guys have gotten all vlogmas. I am filming this on the 29th and you're seeing it the 30th. So I just think it's funny. I had to do so much pre-filming for vlogmas, which honestly I liked doing that because it really helped me to be not stressed out by pre-filming and having my videos like already done kind of a few weeks in advance. So it's just funny that this is the most in time, real time video you guys are probably gonna get because I'm filming it one day and I'm putting it up the next. I'm not putting it up the 31st because I always put my uh, end of like past purchases from that month on the last day of the month. So I'm doing my past December purchases. I'm gonna be filming it after this one. So you will see that on the 31st, which is gonna be New Year's Eve. So what are you guys doing? Let me know. What are you guys doing? 
for New Year's. Please, whatever you're doing, please be safe, careful, stay healthy. Um, like I said, we're going to our friend Matt and Hannah's house. There's going to be six of us there. So Mike and I, Matt and Hannah, and then our friends, Courtney and her fiance, Zach. There's usually eight of us. It's usually like a group of eight that always hang out. Um, our other best friend, Stephanie, and her boyfriend, Ryan. But they cannot make it this year, sadly, so. All right, I went ahead and set my face off of camera, and to do so, I used my Jaclyn Cosmetics Brightening and Setting Palette for under my eyes, and then for the rest of my face, I used my e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder because I didn't want to lose that, like, glowy sheen and shine that the glowish multi-dew skin tint gave me. Uh, but yeah, I think it's really, really, I feel like my skin is looking really pretty right now. I will say there is, like, a ton on a fallout not a ton that's that's dramatic but there's quite a bit of fallout just like little specks of glitter i don't even know if they're gonna come across on camera um from that valentino product i'm just like i don't understand because it's literally like suspended in some sort of jelly balm sort of formula so why is it having so much fallout i don't know also i feel like this look is getting kind of patchy this is what i mean when i say that every eyeshadow gets patchy on me it does not matter what i do i mean i do know i need to try other eye primers so like, I totally understand that. But a couple of you guys have told me like, don't set your Mac Paint Pot and maybe that'll help. Well, I didn't set it today and I just feel like it's looking just patchy, like especially right here in the crease. And it could be that Valentino um, product. I just feel like it's taking off my eyeshadow in the crease and then just up here just looks, I don't know, maybe I'm being dramatic and like too harsh. I just feel like it looks dang patchy, but we're moving on. We're moving on to a bronzer. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronzit. Again, with the sheen and glow, if that is too much sheen and glow for you, I totally understand. You can definitely set your face with a more mattifying powder or you can use a matte bronzer. This bronzer definitely has some glow to it. I personally love it for that reason, but I can definitely understand how a glowy base, glowy setting powder, glowy bronzer can all just be too much for some people. I totally, totally get that. I don't know if I finished my thought earlier, but let me know down below in the comments what you are doing for a New Year's Eve. Like I said, please stay safe, whatever you choose to do. But I would love to hear down below what you got planned. If that's going to a friend's house, if that's just hanging out on your own couch, watching the ball drop, let me know. Do you guys have any like New Year's Eve traditions? Like I said, Mike and I pretty much always go to our friend Matt and Hannah's house, like almost every year since we started dating, which I love that. So let me know down below what are also your traditions if you have any on New Year's. I don't, do you eat the sauerkraut? Let me know, on New Year's Day, do you eat the sauerkraut? It's supposedly good luck. I never, I never eat the sauerkraut. I know, I just don't, I don't like sauerkraut. I don't think it's good. I think you're supposed to eat pork and sauerkraut together, I think is the tradition that's supposed to be good luck, but I have never ate it. <laughs> so again, let me know down below if you do the pork and sauerkraut thing. Okay, I've been blending my bronzer for too long. I think it's blended. <laughs> Then for a highlight, again, it's New Year's Eve and I wanna be shiny and glowy and glam and I wanna glow like the ball that's dropping at midnight. So I'm gonna use the Juvia's A Place, the Tribe Highlighter Volume 3. This is like, look at that. It's like one of my most blinding highlights I own. You can definitely go overboard with this if you're not careful. Me, I go overboard because I'm heavy handed, but ooh, it's beautiful. Like, look at that, look at that glow. And that was just with a tiny, tiny bit and I brushed my, or I'm sorry, I tapped my brush off. And it's just like, so it's not for the faint of heart. You gotta like highlighter to purchase this one, but mm, I love it. Hmm, for blush. I always find it hard to find a blush shade to go with like eyes like this and the purpley sort of tone family, just because, I don't know, it's just kind of hard to match it, I guess. And I, I've, told, I've talked about this before. I have a sort of like need to have my makeup just totally match and coincide and almost do like monochromatic looks all the time. I don't know why I have that like twitch in my brain that like makes me think I have to have a monochromatic look. But I think for today, I think I'm gonna go nice and simple and I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath Flirtatious Blush. This doesn't have too, too much pigmentation to it and it's a pretty neutral shade and it doesn't have too much sheen and glow either because we got a lot of glow going on on this face right now. Oh yeah really pretty i love i love this blush like look at the embossing the flower is like almost gone that's how much i use it and then really quickly to finish up the lower lash line again stephanie used like a really deep rich black eyeliner put it in her waterline all over smudged it out i just have a lot smaller eyes than her she has very beautiful bright blue just poppy punchy eyes that are stunning i just can't i just don't think my small little eyes can really handle that much Va va voom. So instead, I'm gonna play it safe and I'm just gonna go in with this gray shade and we are just going to run that along my lower lash line. And I don't mind to like take it down. I don't mind the smokiness of 
you know, like bringing your eyeshadow down lower. It's more of like the black in the waterline that I didn't think would look that good on me. But yeah, I'm going to bring it down kind of low because we're smoking it out tonight. And then to really have a poppy punchy inner corner, I'm going in with ColourPop Flexitarian. It is my go-to when I want my inner corner to just pop. Alrighty, looking good. I'm going to go ahead and do my brows and mascara off camera and I'll be right back. So for brows, I use my Winky Luxe Una Brow Pencil and then my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I then loaded up my lashes with Tarte Man Eater Mascara. Try to make it look like I got falsies on even though I never wear them. <laughs> and then next up for lips, I'm going to go in with ColourPop O Snap Lip Liner. I'm going to fill in my whole lips with this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and top it with the Lunar Beauty Lip Gloss in the shade Moon. That's a little bit warmer of a lip combination than I was maybe anticipating or going for, but that's okay. I actually think it's still pretty. And then lastly, for setting spray, I'm gonna go in with my Jason Wu Magic Spell Setting Spray. If I was actually getting ready for New Year's and I was actually going out doing something, I would probably use my Urban Decay D-Slick instead, just because I really do think that that setting spray helps my makeup last a long time and hold my oils at bay but I'm getting low on it and I'm just sitting at home. I'm gonna film another video and then I'm gonna edit the rest of the day so I don't want to waste it. And that was you guys. That was my New Year's Eve get ready with me. I actually really like how this eye look turned out. I'm really glad that I decided to recreate that video from Stephanie from Babs Beauty. Again, I'm going to have hers linked down below so you can see her version of the eye look. It's a lot more sultry and smoky and sexy, but I do really like how this turned out. I will say this eye in particular is getting extra creasy. Can you guys see how it's getting like really creasy and just patchy in my eyelid right there in like the crease. I really hope it's showing on camera and I'm not just being like, this is crazy. Eyelid shadows always get creasy and patchy on me, but truly like it is looking like not very cute. But the only thing that I can think of is I let this eye primer, like the MAC Paint Pot, sit on this eye for longer. Like I applied it to both eyes and then I did this one on camera. So it was sitting there just kind of hanging out on my eyelid for like 10 minutes or so before I went and did this eye. So I don't know if that reasoning is acting weird because this eye isn't doing it as much, like maybe slightly, slightly, but definitely not as much as this eye. So that's just kind of annoying. I guess I'll have to keep that in mind if I don't set my paint pot to either not put it on the eye I'm not working on or just work on them both at the same time, if that makes sense. Also, this Valentino eye glitter, this is my second time using it. I think it's a pass, you guys, sadly. I just, I had glitter fall out all over my face. Is it pretty and beautiful? Yes, for sure. Like, it is giving me a very beautiful, sparkly sort of impact on the eye that I probably couldn't get from very many other products. But I don't know, the fall on my face is just... It's intense. I don't like it. But other than that, I actually really do enjoy how this look turned out. I think the eyes are very pretty and sparkly and perfect for New Year's Eve if I was going out and celebrating anywhere. Um, but yeah, let me know down below. What do you think of the look? If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for asking. I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet, and I will see you tomorrow in my next video. Bye, guys.